Hello everybody and welcome to another uh, Unity Shader Graph tutorial. Uh, today we are going to select uh, another uh, card back from uh, Hearthstone game, which is the Eye of the uh, Sita. And we'll try to um, make it with the uh, Unity Shader Graph. So in this card we, um, we can uh, see that we have two uh, I mean effects or uh, aspects. The first one is the shader graph. It's uh, similar what we we did before to what we did before, and um, we have a new uh, let's say uh, aspect we have to work on, which is the um, vertex uh, shader, which is uh, the, fir um, the first time we are going to. Uh, work on it. So um, I'll try to make it as simple as possible. Uh, so let's start. Okay. Let's keep this uh, open and go back to Unity. I have prepared the scene over here uh, with the background and uh, this is our uh, card uh, back model. This is the one. Okay. So uh, let's put back our camera, our view to our camera, and um, I prepared the new material which is I assigned already to the model, uh, empty material, and uh, now let's create our shader. So, same like the other times, and the shader, and we will call it with I of the scene. Let's open it and uh, let's assign it to the material first. So, this is the one. Okay, so let's bring the shady graph window. Okay, we need to make this smaller. Let's bring our game view down so we can see the result. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, to start, uh, we'll be working on the uh, vertex shader uh, part of the uh, moving eyes. So uh, what we will do. We'll, um, uh, we'll work on this position uh, 3, which is uh, the input for the vertex uh, shader part. Because, uh, as you know, the shader is uh, composed, let's say, from two parts, which is the vertex and the, sh the fragment part. So, um, uh, to start with that, what we're going to do, we are going to, uh, first of all, to, bring, to make a um, new node, which is the... Uh, position of the object. So this node will, will contain the each vertex position as per our model. And then we'll be need uh, needing another node which is uh, the time node. Okay. And we will need to split this into uh, the x, y, uh, z axis of each uh, vertex. So I will need the splitter. Okay, so um, this is the x, y, z uh, as a RGB. Okay, and what we will do, we'll need to uh, uh, multiply the uh, to um, input, which is the uh, sin of uh, time and uh, cosine of time, to the value so this one we multiply it with the value and same as this one
this will give us the uh, let's say the uh, rotation effect and um, the value which is will multiply this uh, sine and cosine uh, is the uh, uh, the RNG for, for the moment let me explain uh, something before we continue if you see the model over here uh, actually this is the, uh, the Z and this is the, the X the Y is on the top because the camera is looking from the top so the Y will be uh, the, the height let's say if we select the click, double click on the object to center it with the view if we go like this so this is the Y here is the X and here is the Z so um, uh, the movement will be only on X and Z because it's like rotation on X and Z like we see in the, inside the game okay so let's put back our beauty to our camera and in here so we'll need to modify the um, the X and Z so how to do that we'll uh, need to multiply this uh, both with the corresponding like R and the B okay so with this um, uh, multiply then we need to add it actually um, we will not multiply this uh, we, we need to add it to the result of the multiply so we need another add so let's put this up this should be uh, like that so we add the the r to the result of the multiplica multiplication as well uh, we need to delete this and multiply this to the b okay then um, this uh, values will need to be uh, like the mean it's put like 0 0.2 and this is as the speed of the mean. okay Then the result of the add, you can like mm, put it into uh, a vector three. Let's create a vector three. So uh, this is the x. This is the y. And we'll still um, uh, this is the z uh, actually, and uh, the y will grab it directly from the g because we don't have any movement. On the y axis and let's bring our uh, image texture so we can see what we are doing because it is fully gray so let's put it right here okay and let's see it here we have our uh, model with the texture and we will um, link the uh, position to the um, I mean the result of the uh, alternate position to the uh, position three, which is the vertex input. So as we see here, it's uh, actually it's moving all of it. So what we have to do actually first of all, it's um, if you see it is moving on the wrong direction because here we are selecting the position of the wall not of the object so we have to change it to the object uh, position and now we have the object uh, position input okay then we have to you can see okay uh, let's save and see the uh, effect on the uh, object itself. Okay, 
So if we change here as well the object because this is a sphere, so it's, uh, it doesn't it doesn't have uh, any uh, UVs. So uh, we have to select the our uh, the model that we can use and to see the result. So let's put in the right direction. Okay, as we see here, all the uh, object I mean on the, on the, on the model is moving. Because uh, when we did the uh, multiply and the add over here, we did it on the full uh, all the all the vertex which is on the um, R and uh, B or uh, let's say X and uh, Z. So to fix that, to make it only the eyes uh, moving, we will need to uh, to do some kind of filter. But um, on the on the y axis, because if we um, let's first of all remove this link. If we go to the object of real save, uh, so we can stop uh, the object from moving. And if we select the object <coughs> and turn the camera to see the eyes, if we go just near, you can see the eyes are. The vertex of the eyes are a little bit high on the y axis from the other object. So we can do some um, lerp on the uh, on the y axis. Uh, I mean y uh, the y value of the vertex. Uh, so we can define which part are uh, going to move on and which part are going to, to stay without moving. So let's go back to the. Camera. Okay. And to do so, we will have to put some lerp after the add over here. So let's create a lerp node. Actually, we need two uh, lerp nodes one on the x, one on the y. This is going to be a little bit uh, confusing because uh, we'll have a lot of wires over here. But uh, I'll try to make it as simple as possible. So uh, I'll try also to make it organized so we can see what we are doing. So the lerp will be between the, uh, the result of the add, which is the movement. We'll put it on B as well of this one. So uh, keep in mind that in this part we are working on the x value and this on the z value. Okay. And to learn, we, we, get, we will have another uh, to put another value over here, which is the original, uh, let's say, uh, here x and the original is z. So we put the x on this lerp the Z on this level and we'll have to, prov to provide um, on, on which uh, value we are going to As we said uh, earlier, we, we can learn on the uh, Y axis of each uh, vertex. So Y value. So we're going to bring the, the Y value and we'll, we'll be learning on it. Okay. As well in here. Okay, so let's link this back and let's see um, what we have. Okay, here now we have to link also the result of the lerp, so we can see the correct result here as well. Yeah. Now uh, let's make this bigger so you can see. Now, as we see, we start having. Um, a movement uh, over the eyes, as you see over here. But um, if you can uh, see, also the big eye is moving. But in game, this big eye is not moving. So to prevent the uh, this uh, movement for the uh, center of the object, we need also to do a lerp on the. Uh, let's say uh, Z uh, axis. So this is the Z axis, this is X, and the Y is the height. So on Z axis, we, we need to 
prevent this zone from moving. So how to do that? We need to add another layer before this. So let's duplicate these. Okay, and we will be lurping between this and as well the um, original uh, axis for the X and for the Z. And this time it's not on B, but it's not on the, um, the Y, it's on the Z axis, the, the value of the lure. So, we'll link it like that, we'll link it like this. Then, we'll provide the result with our vector 3. And let's see the changes. Okay. So, if you see if over here, we still have the small movement, but it, it is not like uh, before. Uh, so, we can actually do some uh, multiply over the uh, B and I mean the, uh, the Z and uh, the Y uh, values to reduce uh, the effect so we cannot limit it to over here the movement so let's do that uh, we need to multiply node I know it's now uh, become a little bit uh, crowded with the with the uh, links, but let's try to make it a little bit organized because we're getting the values from the same source for each one. So um, let's do the multiply, multiply over here. So we get the um, Z value. We we'll multiply it by let's say 0 0.3, and we'll give it to both uh, LERP values. Okay, so as you see, this one is not moving anymore. We can increase this a little bit. Let's say 5. Yep. So, um, so we're fine like that with the uh, movement of the eyes. We can see the result. Let's see the tensing result on the uh, screen in the, um, the scene view. As you see, it's moving. So, in the um, here, also we can increase a little bit the the movement, so we can see the result uh, better. Let's put it zero three zero three. Yeah. So. Uh, we can like try zero four. Yep. Okay. So we are done with the uh, movement of the eyes. Now, um, the next part uh, we are going to work on the uh, middle eye, the big one. So uh, it should be looking like this and it is moving it's looking on a random direction so uh, let's do that to do that we need to bring our other uh, textures let's move this up a little bit and we'll bring our uh, mask plus the eye texture plus uh, this is another texture we'll use for the animation. I'll explain how to do that later. So, um, first of all, we need to uh, blend this eye texture on top of the uh, original texture using the mask. 
how to do that. We need to, we need to bring the blend node. Okay, and the blend node, if you see, it's uh, getting uh, three inputs, and the first input is the base, then the blend, then the um, the mask. Um, which is, um, I think it is on the B, the mask of the, uh, yeah, the mask of the eye. So here we have the, uh, the eye mask then blended on top of the uh, original uh, texture. So we link it away. And we have it. Ah, it's ready. Okay, so now we want to play on the UVs of this, uh, the eye. Uh, to see how it is, um, uh, how to make it moving. So to do so that, we, we need to um, create new node as the and offset node. Okay. We'll link it. Then um, we need to give uh, some values. So um, on the tiling, um, we we'll have to make it like. 1.9 and uh, we zoom in so we see our values better. 1.9. This is predefined values which is I uh, I uh, save it on the uh, other shader. Uh, I need. So um, we'll need to create also a vector two, which is we'll have uh, the um, Say the uh, default offset of the uh, of the uh, x and y of the offset of the texture. So minus 0.5. Later you can play with the figures and see what 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 will change will happen to that to the uh, texture here of the eye. So um, let's create um, an add node. This back this as well. So we'll need to add this default offsets to the uh, to the animation. Actually, we are going to create over here. So we'll link this directly in here. Okay. And then uh, what we'll have to do? We'll bring a time node. Another time node. And then we'll need to multiply it by speed, like the other one. Okay. Zero point two. This one. Or uh, let's make it uh, smaller. Let's keep it zero point two, and we see later. Okay, so uh, we need to multiply the the um, only the the y of this, not not both of them. So uh, what we will be doing, we will be um, uh, creating a new node which is tiling and offset node. Let's bring it back. And create another node which is a vector two because we're gonna split this. I mean, not split this, but we're gonna uh, assign this to the y only. Um, I'll tell you uh, why we are doing that just in the in a second. So we'll assign this to our let's say uh, animation texture. Which is this one. Okay, so let's bring those back. And this one. Okay, so um, this now uh, should, should be moving to the, uh, to the uh, left as um, we assign um, this multiply to the 
to the UV of this one. But, uh, Okay, it is not moving because um, we did a mistake which is here. We link it to the x, to the y, which is wanted to move to the x, not to the y. So let's move this and link it to the x. Okay, now it is moving. And um, after that, we'll have to link this. Um, any of those will be okay but we'll take the full color so we will have the um, let's say the uh, the x and y on it u and v will assign it to the uh, add over here okay as we see we got some movement over here but that's not the effect we, we, are, we are going to I mean we are uh, meaning so We'll have to multiply this uh, uh, values with the uh, some constant to make it reduce the speed of the movement as well. So what we have to do is maybe multiply node and let's link it to the B. And here we have some figures that we can uh, tweak 0.4 okay to reduce a little bit the uh, color intensity intensity and then we need to do some uh, trick to uh, make the eye moving on the direction we need so the trick is um, we need to go to the uh, uh, tiling of the uh, animation texture and put the X to zero. Okay, and after that, let's move this here. Okay, so um, here is our texture. Okay, I need to check. Okay, mm, now we are not uh, we are not able to see the effect clearly because mm, we have here the speed is very high, so we need to um, bring it down. Let's say zero two. Zero point zero two. Yep. Yeah. So um, now we decrease the speed. We have here the uh, the color, and we add it to the constant we have. And um, as well, we need to change the this value. It's not uh, minus three. It's too much. We have to make it minus zero point three. Okay. So um, as you see over here. We have the eye moving, and um, it is moving um, uh, following the uh, value which is uh, we are giving here. So um, we can actually link it directly and see what will happen. Okay, so now it's going to the extreme uh, corners. That's why we we did. The multiply to make it uh, the effect smaller so we can put it back and um, as well we can make it like 0 5 to 0 5 to make like the movement go to the, the edges as you see over here and we have the animation so let's see let's save it and see it in the uh, view Okay, so here is our uh, card. We have the both effects the animation of the eyes. We use the uh, vertex uh, 
shader on it uh, to do it and um, this is our uh, fragment shader which is the eye it's looking on the other directions and uh, that's all so um, to just resume what we did let's make it uh, full screen so we'll see it better the uh, full shader okay what we did we we bring uh, the position of the object of each vertex then uh, we split the uh, values into uh, the x, uh, y, and z mm, axis. And then what we did, we bring the time node, so we get the sine and cosine to get that effect of, uh, let's say, rotational circle. And we multiply it by a value to reduce it, so let's say the speed. And then we add it to the, to the r. Uh, to the x and uh, z so we will add the this uh, node we added the animation and these both nodes are the let's say the the, the mask of the animation which is um uh, going on the uh, g um, which is the the y axis and the, the z axis to uh, limit the animation to the i only and to the uh, to prevent that the center eye, the bigger eye, to, to move as well. So I'm willing it to the vertex uh, input of the master uh, node. And for the big eye, we did like bring the, the time, and we multiplied by speed. Then we took only the x because we wanted uh, the, the, the animation texture to move on the x only. Uh, as well, uh, we uh, did the trick and the tiling of the uh, animation texture. We put the X to zero, so it will be like full uh, of the, I mean, on the old screen, only one color. And it is changing because we are animating it. So we multiply it with the, val uh, with the value to, to reduce the, uh, the distance, let's say, that the eyes uh, goes on. And we multiply it by the default and uh, we added uh, to the default uh, offsets which is uh, this uh, section and then we assign to the tile to the offset of the uh, eye uh, texture and as you see over here it's moving by following the direction we put and as uh, after that we mask it with the um, with the uh, the mask of the eye which is the blue one as you see over here and then we, we blend it on top of the main texture and we put the out color field output. We can also uh, like do one more thing here. We can uh, play with the contrast of the, uh, the eye to give it a better effect. We can like multiply it by 1.2 see, to make it more shiny or let's say times as you see it is like like it is uh, shiny uh, not shiny like it is uh, more stronger color and as I said it's put it six to that you see that the effect it's like the uh, contrast the contrast is very strong over here so let's put it back to two times and now it is, it is okay let's save it Let's see. Okay, so here is our car. Mm. Uh, today we, we learned how to uh, to make a vertex shader. This is the new thing, and uh, that's all I think. So um, uh, thank you guys for following up with this uh, tutorial, and uh, see you on the next one.